Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> All right, we're going. We're rolling. I'm a Reaper's. In- Wait, what is that? It's a drinking game for the dart gun. Oh no way! Yeah, you yeah. blow a dart at the at the target. Yeah, like you challenge someone else. Second. Five second pull, make someone chug. Thought it's a hug for a second. So like if you hit the white or anything, you miss the dart thing. You have to uh-huh. drink basically. Is what that outside two says. And the other ones are like make someone else do it, which is the person you're challenging. What give shot? Oh, you give it out to somebody else. Or to the person you're challenging. Yeah, like give it to group or whatever. Like it just like you know. Oh, that's cool. Sabrina made it, and she just made it, like, really open-ended. Uh, oh, that's finish. cool. So. I like how you don't get uh consequences if you, like, miss. Yeah, well, it but, is. It's like you drink, see? If you miss the bar, Oh, I didn't even see that section. Fun. Okay. Yeah. That's an innovative uh, drinking game right yeah, there. something new. We're starting it up. Do you want to pull that up, like, a little bit closer? Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool. Cool, so... First uh, talking point I had was you guys both are wearing the cross shirts, too. Yeah. It's the yeah. cross on the come up. Yeah, it's like half my wardrobe, honestly. Really? I, I mean, every year would get shirts and just stuff, so it's kind of all I have. <laughs> Usually I get screwed over on apparel, but <laughs> I get it somehow. Why was that? Uh, coach didn't really like me last year. So. That's how I am. I just have, like, all soccer shit, just random soccer stuff. Do you think lacrosse is the next big sport, though? Maybe. I think the the Olympics could ruin it. What was that? Have you seen the rules for it? Like? the For the International Lacrosse League? Not really. I haven't paid too much attention. It's like 7v7. There's no deep holes. Face-offs at the beginning of quarters. So after, like, a goal, like, the goal just gets it out and you clear. Um... Wait, isn't the face off whenever you're like down on the ground? Yeah, usually, that's what you do, right? Yeah, usually do it after every goal. But for like the international across league, they took it away and they took away deep holes too. What do you do as like an alternative then? Just after you, uh, after someone scores, the goalie just gets it out of the net and starts like a clear. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, it's kind of weird. That'd be a lot more. So fun. you just start it from the back? Yeah, pretty much. I don't like that. And then it's like the shot clocks, like uh, I can't remember how it's like forty seconds maybe, and the quarters are like eight minutes running time. It's weird. Who? Wait, that's actually going through the Olympics? Yeah. I didn't even hear about that. Dude, yeah, Tim sent Like, me and Tim talked about it one day, and then uh, he found it on Instagram, I believe, and sent it to me. I'll see if I can pull it up yeah, real it quick. Yeah, like it's going to ruin it. So, I mean, like, yeah, they could definitely ruin it, I think. I mean, it takes away, like, one solid position, two solid positions of the game. So, then you're going to recruit, like, different people. Yeah, like, the FOGO really becomes not a thing, and then... Yeah, there's the no defense fogos. really don't really become a thing either because you kind of have to play transition, just play offense. It's almost becoming like basketball. Okay. Like pro basketball in the sense it sounds like where defense really won't matter. Hopefully your goal is good and you can just get more goals than the other team. Uh, do you think they did that to make it more exciting then? Maybe. That might be what they're doing. What are you saying? Like more goals than the other team, like implying like you score more? Yeah. Oh, okay, no shit. I mean, if you think about it, there's not going to be a face-off, no stoppage, really. Mm-hmm. It'll just be pa- fast pace. Federation so. of International Lacrosse. So you just scoop it out of the goal and get it out as quick as you possibly can? Seems like it. Yeah, pretty much. I did a tournament okay. in high school. It was <laughs> like weird. a 7v7 tournament where it was the same-ish kind of rules, but we had poles. Like, it was if the goalie got scored on, it wasn't a face-off. Oh, that's way too long of an article to read. It's like a 100-page PDF file of all the <laughs> rules. Not trying nah. to do that. But, yeah, I don't know. That could uh, that'd be interesting, I think. Where do you guys see, like, the growth of the sport? I mean, it's honestly, it's grown quite a bit. Because, like, even at Missouri State, it's grown a lot. Like, the four years I played there and even continuing to grow. Like, a lot of people, a lot more people know about it. And there's a lot more teams that you see kind of popping up around that have better teams or, like, more players going to it. And even the amount of players that play here. I would say, like, the biggest growth or, like, the next frontier which it's already happening is right here in the Midwest. Oh, really? So, I mean, like, the East Coast is already, like, where he comes from. Like, it's already, like, designed. Like, the whole entire, like, structure of lacrosse is there. Like, at least I'm at Kansas City area where I'm from. Uh, it's, like, brand new, obviously. Whenever I played in high school, I started playing freshman year of high school. That was the second year of the program. They started mm-hmm. the program when I was in eighth grade. And then youth programs were not a thing. Uh 
they started youth programs, I want to say, probably my sophomore year. So, okay. Because so, Judge was playing up to varsity whenever he was in seventh grade. Can you just play in like a soccer field? Pretty much. I think it's a little bit longer. I think it's, uh, it's five yards shorter. Or if, yeah. So as long as you like have some turf, you can play? Or like a football field or something? Yeah, yeah it's a little bit wider than a football field, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's like two and a half yards wider on each side than a football field. Okay. But you can – like I was watching the uh, OSU-Oklahoma State game today, and they played on a football field. They just use like football out-of-bounds. Yeah, I was saying high school, we just use football out-of-bounds. Yeah. So, I mean, it's flexible. It's um, cool seeing, like, your sport grow, like, the accessibility of it. Yeah. Because same thing, like, there were no turf fields at my hometown. Like, fuck, man, probably – I think it was my freshman year of high school, and now there are, like, three facilities in every high school as a turf field. See, that's like, awesome. It's I ridiculous. Think, it's, that's it's awesome. Cool, but it's also kind of sad. If you think about it, you're going to, like, whenever you have kids, and they go say they grow up in the Kansas City area, mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, we want to go play college cross. And then they're looking at, like, Missouri State because it's actually a funded NCAA D1 program by then. You're just going to be like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of shitty because the like opportunities. Like what could have been. Yeah, like the opportunities that you could have had mm. and then like the opportunities that they'll have. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Just, it's just weird. It's like technology, how it just advances and then that. You know, like, if you talk to your parents, like, oh, whenever we had a phone, there was no phones. Like, there was no cell phones. And it's going to be like, oh, whenever I was going to play college across, there was, like, two schools in Missouri that might have looked at you. I remember yeah, my it. mom had a flip phone for like 14 years. Yeah, it's it was like awesome. old as shit, like super small. Really? When did that end? And probably like when me and my sister, like when I started, you probably got a phone. My mom had to get a new phone. Okay. Because I think I had broken it. <laughs> so, so maybe like, like 2010 one. time? Yeah, probably. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, Blackberries right. were like the hot phone then. Yeah. Blackberries and iPhones. Yeah. Good old iPhones. Break them all the time. Same, same. I lose my phones, man. I, I have a problem with losing phones. And so we need to get the find or, or the phone. find my phone app. I've never lost or broken one, ever. Consider yourself <sighs> lucky. I got mine. Oh, st- yeah. You're gonna lose it tonight. No. I either got mine stolen or lost at Milwaukee. I don't really remember. Or I don't, I don't remember. One of the two happened. <laughs> can't yeah. you not even sell them the pawn shops now, so that you can't steal them? I have no idea. I don't think pawn shops will accept phones anymore. I don't know. I tried to, like, find it in the morning using my laptop, and, like, the fine, like, it was, everything was turned off on it, and I was like, damn, that's disappointing. It's probably stolen then. I think so. What if it dies, then the Find My Phone app doesn't work? No, it still, like, shows up, like, the last time you had it on. Okay. But, I don't really know. Yeah, I guess after it's dead, it wouldn't show you, like, the new location, but it'd show you, like, the last place it was on at. Mm-hmm. But I don't understand the point, because it's, like... If you get an iPhone, you can't really use it unless you turn it on and somehow it can get past the passwords. So it's like if someone steals your iPhone, they really can't do anything with it. Yeah, unless they know how to, like, clear it. But, I'm, but by I'm then, doing it'll show you, like you said, the last yeah. time you had it. So being able to find them would be easy. So You would think. And how many people actually know how to do that if they're stealing them? I don't know uh, how to do it. I mean, my stepdad. I guess I'm not trying to steal iPhones. Yeah, yeah, so, right. <laughs> my stepdad does like a lot of technology stuff for the Summit Police Department, and he says it happens a lot. But they're able to find out who it is just because someone turns it on to figure out how to unlock it, and then uh-huh. it's like there he is. You know, it's pretty simple. Like, uh, I guess two of my brother's teammates, uh, they got a rockers, mm-hmm. and they were walking back from a party, and two guys just kind of pulled up and were like. Pulled out a gun, like, hey, give us your shit. No shit? Yeah, give us your shit. Give them the phones. Turn off the phones. They called the police department. Wait, they pulled up in a car? Yeah. It was, it was like, Rockhurst is like in a not a good area of Kansas City. So, pulled up in the car, told them, give me your shit, basically. They uh, drove off. Next day, they called the cops, used the iPhone thing, tracked them to the house, got all their stuff back. Oh, wow, okay. So, it's like, you can't really get into the phone. Without turning it on and trying to mess with it, and if you can even figure out the password, so did they arrest the guys? I don't even know what the outcome of it was. Okay, so I'm not sure. I just know they got their stuff back. I don't even know what I would do if some like if I got like pulled up at gunpoint. I know my mom got she got a it was Main Street St. Charles. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but like she was she was there like whenever she was younger, and she got robbed at gunpoint, and apparently one of one of her friends completely just froze, like completely froze. Damn. I think you. Kind of just give them what they want if they have a gun at you. Yeah. Like there's really in between. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think I would freeze. Yeah, especially it. if they just pull up in a car. It's like, yeah, I'll just give them my stuff. Like, yeah. I have no idea who these people are. Yeah. I was say, it's like you're running away if they're in a car. Yeah. Let alone, it's just they like, can drive faster. It's like, whatever. It's like, here you go. Take my iPhone. Like, I've got insurance on it. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I usually don't have that much cash on me anyway. So it's like, yeah, just cancel my credit cards real quick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't yeah, I guess but you don't have a phone to I do was that. Say, I guess if they take my <laughs> phone. I guess if they take my phone, that's a little harder. But one, though, you get that back. Yeah. You know, I mean, they go to the bank and use stuff. But like right now, they use my justice. credit card. What are they gonna do with like thirty dollars? <laughs> so like, have fun with my only thirty dollars. It's like you're negative. Have fun with my debt. Yeah. Like I owe money, jackass. Yeah. <laughs> have fun paying off my student loans. Right. Thank you. Thank you. That's funny. I don't think I'd freeze up. I don't think I would. I think I'd be like calm and yeah. I think I'd do what you guys did. Just just, just it hand up. it over. I definitely yeah. wouldn't fight. That's that. There's no, no chance I would try say, to yeah, be no like point. the fucking hero in that situation. I mean, all I gotta do is just tell the police, and you get a police report, and you just give that to your insurance company that gave you a new phone. Right. It's all done after that. So just get a new phone after that. Just be like whatever. Yeah. Fingers back, crossed they get caught. Back that shit up. <laughs> I mean, if they don't get caught though, like the insurance wise. Yeah. Just covers it. Everything will pop up on your new phone because the iPhone back yeah. up. So, so I did in Milwaukee. Phone. When I lost my phone in Milwaukee, just back that shit up. There you go. Yeah, that's so perfect because I used to lose everything on my phone whenever I had a new one. And this was the first phone that everything carried over. Oh, that's perfect. I was just so thankful. <laughs> I was so thankful because I was expecting to lose fucking everything at that point. Oh, that'd be such a pain in the ass. I'd, just, I'd stop getting new phones at that point. I'd be like, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. The, the the SIM card thing that, like, transfers over. Yeah. They used to have those, but then you need your old phone, so if you lose it, then you're fucked. Exactly. I like the cloud. Until the cloud crashes. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't mine happen. Won't, mine won't back up right now, but I don't really care. Yeah. It's backed up well enough. That's what I'm saying. I haven't backed mine up probably in, like, two months. So I haven't so. done it all off my new phone. I literally just got a new phone, like, last month, though. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't break. Paris weekend or something like that. So. What if what if to back it up you literally had to back it up? Like yourself physically? Yeah, you had to back it up. <laughs> That'd be pretty easy. I think done it by now then. <laughs> They'd do it just <laughs> to shave you. Just to <laughs> shave you of the office. <laughs> that would be really easy. Back your computer up too. Apparently they're gonna put iPhone stores in like Walgreens. So that it's like a mutual kind of dealio going on. I hate that I just used the word dealio, but uh yeah, apparently, so, like, pe- it gets more foot traffic to the Walgreens, and then also the iPhone stores will, like, have more people be going in there because of the Walgreens, uh, and then I guess, like... Will they fix your iPhones? Do what? Will they fix iPhones there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I can fuck with that. I mean, it would work, you know? Yeah. If you got to get an rent. iPhone, you could, you know, get some meds at the same time. You got to get some meds. I guess you can stop by and get there an iPhone. There you go. Yeah. Or, like, well, stuff. like, if you break your iPhone, you always have to go to, like, the Apple store for, like, to get it fixed or whatever. And if you're not in, like, KC or St. Louis, you're not really near an Apple store. Like, it, they only have it in, like, major I mean, they cities. they have small mm-hmm. little shops. Like, they have some down here. Oh, yeah, Simply Mac. So I don't really yeah. know what they're called. I think, I, like yeah. I said, I've never had that. I had to get my change. phone fixed. <laughs> yeah, they're, get, they're getting rid of, uh, I forgot what part of it. They, there's a part of Walgreens that they're just like getting rid of completely. That like every Walgreens has, and they're using that space for iPhones. It's probably like the portrait pretty... area. Yeah, yeah, that is what it is. Yeah. That makes sense because that's becoming so obsolete. Yeah. Get really your portraits on your point. iPhone. Yeah. You say online. Really, everything's just online. Unless you got a Samsung, then. Can't do that. Catch up. If you got an Samsung. Android 2019, yeah, I, what are you Monty doing? Monty Bordeaux. Yeah. All right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was watching Hulu. I was watching Brooklyn Nine Nine, and uh, I saw a commercial for. Like, is that the one with Andy Samberg? Yeah, I love that. And Terry Crews. That shit's so funny. Yes, yes. Um, but there's this commercial for like the Galaxy 10 S Plus or I don't know whatever the whatever Galaxy they're on. Uh huh. And it has this thing called power sharing. You can like take two phones and like put the backs of them together and charge one phone with the other phone. Really? Yeah. So it'd be like if I, like my phone has like a hundred percent, and your phone's about to die. Like you could charge your phone through my phone. That's awesome. But you have to have a Galaxy. Yeah, you have to have I mean, a Galaxy. I don't hang out with Android users. So yeah, me neither. So, 
I mean, it was, it was cool though. I was like, damn, that's pretty cool. I mean, like the next iPhone will probably have that. So Man, that's uh-huh. your selling well point, just for that phone though. Like, if someone's like, wow, that's I cool, want though. the Android just because like I can bum someone else's power. It's just <laughs> bum like, someone yeah, else's like, power. No, dude, there's other ways around it. That's like, that funny you so say bad. that though, because I got an iPhone and like half my incentive to do so. Or I, I had an Android like for a while, for a while. And half my reasoning was, oh, when I go over to my friends' houses, they'll have chargers. They yeah. never have chargers now. Mm-hmm. Oh, when they first changed the iPhone charger, that was a pain in the ass. Oh, that's Because no one had the new iPhone charger. Like, you had the old iPhone. It's like, shit, how do I charge this bitch? For six months of that, that was annoying. Yeah, and now everyone just has the new lightning chargers, but they'll probably change that. And, like, well, they've got the pads now. A lot of people, like, my stepdad's got the pad. Yeah, my stepdad's got the pads, so they just drop it on there at night, and it just charges. Oh, so it's like what you were talking about. But yeah, actually, I have seen those. I well, I, actually, yeah. I used to have it's crazy one. It stopped working it, though, so I threw it away. Case. Oh, really? Yeah, but yeah, it just like it sits there, and you just set it like on top of it. And it how does it even like transfer the energy? Like, how does it even work? I have no idea. It had to be something with magnets. I don't really know what else. You know, they actually they have those new. I think they're like new, new like GMCs and the new Chevys. They have like a charging mat on the uh-huh. center console of it, like right here. You can set your phone on it. And it's just like. Like one of the pads and it charges your phone. Oh no way! That's oh, that's cool. It's, it's pretty crazy cool. because like all that stuff, and then like John's comment last week of, and now we're just sitting in my Nissan fucking Altima. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. Wait, do what? Like literally, like we were talking about stars and yeah, shit. Yeah, we're coming and, back like, from Mizzou last Friday. <laughs> uh-huh. We were just talking about how like crazy it is, and like like back then, like what we had, and then like randomly, John Wishnet goes. And now I'm just sitting in a fucking Nissan Altima. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's like, what? <laughs> like, we literally were just having like a, dude, just imagine like seeing the constellations for the first time and laying out and just being like, that kind of looks like a scorpion. Or that kind of <laughs> looks like a big dipper. And then John just like, and now I'm in a fucking Nissan Altima. <laughs> it was just like, dude, it was fucking hilarious. That dude's so goofy. That, that kid kills me. Him. I love that kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a... Uh, Winter, winter wants to come on and do this with him. <laughs> oh hell yeah, that'd be oh that'd be a funny one. Oh, that would shit. be two personalities yeah. on your show, like two complete opposite, but somehow get along at personalities. Right. Like, yeah. That's the best though. Whenever you get like a really like diverse crowd, you know, like for like any social situation, I feel like. It honestly, really is. What you're saying? Do you want to talk about uh your summer summer? What summer was this? Last well, summer. So, so summer like 2018? 2018, yeah. Working on the weed farm in Washington. I didn't know if they called it a weed farm or not. Yeah. Okay. Or like an I-502 farm, because that's like what the laws are. They're called I-502. That's, I feel so like I that's what you, I tell. I guess like, if you want to be technical, it depends on who you're telling. Like, if you're talking to like someone that like a lot old, like that was like a lot older than me, and they're like, oh, what do you do? It's like, oh, I work at an I-502 farm. And like some people know what it is, and some people didn't, and they just look at you like, oh, what is that? And then it's like, oh. Uh, Recreational marijuana. <laughs> but, I mean, it's all legal in that state. Where was it at? Uh, in Okanagan, Washington. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's like a micro desert there, kind of in the mountains. Okay. Super hot and dry. Oh, really? Lots of dust. Really? I don't I, I don't imagine, like, Washington being that way. I guess it, it's desert, though, obviously. It's a weird state. Like, the some, like, some of the mountains, like, it's so beautiful. And, like, over on the coast, it rains a lot. But, like, that area in central Washington is just, Do you see like, that? a micro-desert. Yeah, like, what the fuck? There's a squirrel right there. Get the dart. Oh, shit. Get the dart gun. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's, there's some days it's, like, 105, like, all week. And you're just like, dude, it's hot as shit outside. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it's fun, though. What was, like, day in the life? Like, lay it down. Uh, it depends. Like, sometimes we were, when we were getting the farms ready, it was it honestly sucked a lot. Because, uh-huh. like, it is cool to be working with weed plants, like marijuana plants everywhere. But when it comes down to it, you're a farmer. So we'd, like, dig holes for, like, 10 hours a day. Just digging holes. Because we had to dig. What all, for? We, had a, we were digging all the holes for the third farms, for them to all the plants go in. So, like, we'd dig a hole about like four feet wide and like four feet deep and then we'd put a 55 gallon bucket in that was co- or we dug all the holes first and we dug like uh-huh. 150 of them or something like that and then we took a 55 gallon drum like bucket cut off the bottom of it and put it in the holes like filled the background with dirt and then put soil in the like in the drum and then pulled it out so like there was just like soil in the middle of it like that big and that's where we planted all the plants okay that makes sense so then like we then covered it with ground tarp and then cut all the holes where the soil was and then put plants in all of them. Did you learn a lot? 
Yeah, actually, I learned I learned a bunch on like a lot of like random handiwork like stuff because we built help build like hoop houses and then like just like laying ground so hard, be like laying in with uh, ground stakes and like hammer them down, just like building random stuff. And uh, so I definitely learned a lot about that. And then obviously learned a lot about like growing marijuana and how to just do different things and how much like actually has to go into it. And then also like the business aspect of it. There's so much that like laws and taxes that you have to follow and like really, really strict regulations that have to be followed by like each farm. So kind of makes it tough. Okay. Like what are some of the like the weird regulations? Like all the waste, like anytime you have waste from the plants or like when you harvest all like the stocks you cut off, you have to keep it all and like weigh it separately and it all has to be logged and recorded. So if like the LCB, which is like the liquor and cannabis board, Uh um, if they come, they, uh, they can like look at all those logs and make sure that you didn't like do anything weird with it. So you can't pretty much like you can't take it and black market it. Okay. And then there has to be cameras on all the farm and inside all the farm area you have to keep like 40 days of uh footage there and they can audit your cameras whenever they want if they like want to come visit and audit your cameras they can do that so that's a lot more regulations than you probably thought yeah like a lot of people just like don't think there's that much into it but there's really a bunch like a bunch of regulations that go into it and then a bunch of work that has to go into like growing it all wow so yeah i met uh i was out in colorado i forgot what part of colorado i don't know that's irrelevant but like i was i was uh I cannot think of the word. It's going down where, like, you you get in, like, a tube, a raft. Whitewater rafting. Whitewater rafting. Yeah. Okay. And uh, our tour guide, he he does, like, whitewater rafting in the summertime, and then in the wintertime he works in, like, weed farm. Oh, that's not bad. And he was saying the same thing. He's like, yeah, it's a lot harder than you would think. It's a lot of, like, just hard work. I mean, we'd have to get up at 3.30 every morning to go pull uh, no way. tarps over the hoop houses because we did light depth for them, so they get 12 hours of darkness, 12 hours of light. So you have to, like pull a hoop over him from or a tarp over him from four to nine in the morning so it gets like those extra hours of darkness because it starts getting light there at like four thirty, four. okay depending on like what time of the summer it was what's a hoop house uh it's kind of like an indoor it's kind of looks like a greenhouse mm-hmm. but it's open on each ends and smaller and you can you can just grow marijuana inside of it but you can control the climate more of it and you're controlling the light for it okay so you kind of control how it grows it's almost like growing it indoor, like in a greenhouse, but it's outdoor, so it takes up like less area than a greenhouse would. Do you think it'd be cool to work like in a greenhouse? Yeah, it probably would be pretty cool. Just like an all indoor grow, that wouldn't be bad. It'd be pretty cool. I've always thought that because I have a farm out in St. Louis, and I'm like, and we just have like a huge barn that's not being used. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of like, could you even do that? Could you turn it into a greenhouse? I mean, I don't see why not. Probably control the environments pretty well inside of it. Okay. As long as you could do that, you'd be fine. Do you need, like, natural sunlight or? No, you can use, uh, you can use uh, just, like, big lights. Okay. Like, overhead hanging lights. That's what they start all the plants with. We started them all, like, inside with uh, grow lights. And then when they get, like, this tall, they uh-huh. put them outside. Why is that? Are they really sensitive, like, in the beginning? Or? Yeah, they're just, like, really fragile. Okay. So you don't want them to like break. You want like the roots to get kind of, or like the roots and stalks to get stronger so that they don't break. Because it gets like pretty windy up there. So like during some windstorms, like it break a lot of plants. But they honestly grow back pretty easily. Like if one of the branches breaks off, you can kind of like put it back, bandage it up a little bit, and it'll like regrow itself in. It's kind of weird. Maybe one day it'll be legal here. Well, it, it, yeah, it's getting. Uh, it's medically legal here. Now. Yeah, that's it getting implemented this summer, right? It should be. I forgot that even happened. Somebody reminded me that that happened. Like. <laughs> Like two weeks ago or something like that. that. Really? Register to vote in Greene County, baby. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Springfield. <laughs> That's crazy. To think that you weren't. That's that you're finally a, a boogan. I'm not a boogan, dude. You're I'm just here, I'm dude. just a townie, man. You're just a townie. <laughs> Same thing. Well, when I got my when I switched my residency over and got my license, they're like, "Do you want to be like register to vote?" And I was like, "Sure." So all I had to do was like check yes on a piece of paper and sign it. It's super easy. So. I do have a question though, because I never asked you this. We can talk a little bit more into the mic. Say, what did your like parents or like family friends, like even like more distant family, think whenever you're like, "I'm going to work on a weed farm"? Did um like no, my parents didn't care. No one else cared, but it's actually kind of funny. My uh, my grandpa on my dad's side, he was like texting me one day about it. It was like I think it was on my birthday, and he said something about like going to work in the drug fields for the summer. 
and I started dying laughing. Drug like, fields? Yeah, dr- like, I, I, I <laughs> shit you not. Like, he legit said drug fields, and I started dying laughing. I was like, that's so fucking funny. Like, I <laughs> screenshot it and sent it to my parents. I was like, I like what he said. Like, that's so funny. And then, like, over the summer, he, like, texted me and asked me how my, like, how my summer was going working in the drug fields. And I was just like, it's going good. Like, I just laughed about it. I was like, this is actually really funny. I love how you have that other word. Wait, what was it again? The, not weed farms, but the IO. Oh, I-502. I-502. Yeah. I like how you have that as, like, your backup. Yeah, and, you just, and some people, like, some people know what it is. It's funny, because you'd be talking to, like, someone that'd be, like, 65, 70, and you'd be like, yeah, I work in, like, the I-502 industry. They're like, oh, okay, you, like, retail or, like, produce, like, ah, oh, we work at a farm. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's so many people know about it. It's so funny. Like, you go to a dispensary, and, like, you see, like, just, like, so many different types of people there. It's honestly really cool. Yeah, I've been in, like, two dispensaries so far, or maybe more than that, but... It's a different environment. They're super friendly. Super yeah. friendly. We tried to, me and him, we tried to go to a bunch, like however many different ones we could this summer, just to, like check them out and see what they were like. And then I've been to one in Vegas. I think that's it. They're really expensive in the touristy places. Oh, yeah. They're so expensive in Vegas. I walked in, I'm like, yeah, this is this is ridiculously priced. I walked right out. Yeah. They actually, they give an industry discount for most places. They like 20%. Oh, really? Yeah. So like if you work in the industry, they'll like give you a discount. Cause like how we, it's like we know how much you're getting it for. So, how do you Makes prove that? You just like show them like your work badge or like a pay stub oh, or something so yeah, like that. Yeah, you got a badge or something. Yeah. Is that like forever? Or does it run out? I don't know. Uh, it probably runs out. Maybe. I mean, I feel like you could just be like, "Oh, I never bring my new stubs with me." Yeah. Well, I mean, they always wanted like they always ask to see our badges, so we just always brought our badges. Just That's had like a cool. picture on it. Yeah. Flip awesome. out your weed badge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It was definitely a good experience, though. Got a lot. Of, got some good old muscles over the summer. How did you do that? You worked at a drug a just, drug field. Oh, dude, just <laughs> digging holes and picking rocks. <laughs> dude, shoveling's hard drug. work. Oh, dude, it really is. Gets your traps good, Well, like, you shovel, and then, like, you, like, rake all the dirt you've shoveled, like, so it's all even around the holes, and then, like... Picking up all the rocks, just like damn. How many days a week? Like every day. Oh really? I, we had like one or two days off. Really? Wow. Yeah, it was fun. Did you ever get like any time to travel, go to like Seattle or anything? Um, I went on a, like a couple deliveries with Hoover, oh, and that's like cool. we got to see like I went over like the Northern Pass to Seattle or over the Northern Pass to Washington. That was pretty awesome. Like Lake Diablo, it's really cool. It's like a, this lake that's in the middle of the mountains. It's like one of the best places, or like beautiful places I've ever seen, honestly. And then I went to, I was there in February, and I got to see Seattle, or for got to see something in Seattle. It's pretty cool. I like it there. I've never been. It's it's, it's a cool city. It's really cool. There in uh, Portland, those are two places I do want to go to Portland. Like to go. I do want to go to Portland. I've heard Portland's weird. I've heard it's really I like it kind of like weird. hippie almost. Yeah, it's huge. Really? Like, that, like the hipster. I think it'd be fun. Like, though. Yeah, yeah, hipsters. Yeah. Yeah, like hippie. Yeah, no, I couldn't. I wouldn't want to go there just because of that. I, mean, I think it'd be it. cool. I think it'd be cool to visit. I don't know. Yeah, not to live, to mm-hmm. visit. I guess that makes sense. Honestly, I really like San Francisco. I don't know if you I've guys never ever been, been to San Francisco. Really? I don't think so. It's a it's a really cool place. It's a really cool place. Definitely gonna have to check that out. Very hilly, but probably honestly probably my favorite city I've been to. But very, it's it's a really weird like mix up of people because apparently if you live like downtown like it, apparently the cops and just anybody who makes like a normal like decent wage like you have to be pretty fucking rich to live actually oh, yeah. downtown it's probably expensive as fuck yeah so it's you're either homeless or like super wealthy yeah. if you're living so a lot of people live out of town and then like commute to work like in the city yeah actually i've only been to the other place in california i've been to is orange county when we went for nationals like two years ago for lacrosse it's the only time i've been to california I remember when you guys went. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. Do they have good lacrosse out there? I don't know. I don't, yeah, it's not I bad. Really. I mean, I've no. met maybe like two kids from California that like around college lacrosse, and they were bad players. Like Why high not? school was, I don't know, but I can't think of like a college team really. Well, like Cal Poly and. Oh, uh, if you're just talking about like through our league. Oh, yeah. Of. I mean, there's no like NCAA schools in California. I, think I don't, there are, though. I don't think. A few. 
Or there's, there's probably a few, Because Judge went there for goalie school. Yeah. I mean, because they – I remember I was at – I don't know what tournament it was. I went to some tournament in, like, Maryland or some shit like that. And we played some California – like, the California All-Star tra- – I don't some bullshit. I don't know what their name was. But we played their travel team. And they weren't, they weren't bad. I mean, especially for, like, a West Coast team. Because usually the West Coast teams she play weren't very good, but... Yeah, it's surprising to me. I feel like Cali's good in, like, every sport. Yeah. I know soccer, they're, like, the best. I mean, like, the East Coast, like, it's, like, lacrosse is, like, football. Like, where I went to high school, no one gave a shit about football. Uh-huh. Like, with football is just something we did in the fall, and then we played lacrosse all Lacrosse winter. was, like, the sport? Yeah, we played lacrosse all, like, winter, spring, and summer, and then played football. And then as soon as football ended, started playing lacrosse. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then it's, like, funded by our school. We're here. It's, like, a club sport for most high schools. Like, that's kind of – it was, like, weird to see when I first moved down here. And so the only ones are, like, the private schools that will fund lacrosse. Yeah. It's, so like, in Kansas City that just is, like, Rockhurst. And then St. Louis, you're talking about, like, the Smet and SLU. And I know my high school had it, but it was, like, a joint team with uh, us and our rival high school. What team was it? Uh, Winsville. Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah, I, say, I don't know. I'm so it was like it was like the city of the two high schools like combining. So it's probably school, all three of them now because there's another school added. Say so my high school combined with another high school my senior year. So at least I'm at least I'm at North, and then there was a West. And they had no West, team West before West that. Team. No, they had their own, but they just didn't have enough players, so we just combined. So it's all bullshit. I hated it. <laughs> I hate going back because like they don't call themselves the Tigers anymore. I'm just like this isn't the same. What do they call themselves? Like Lee Summit United. There's yeah, a third okay. Lee Summit school that has their own team. So, like, it's not really everybody's United. United, like baby. Two. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> they suck. <laughs> They're not good. Lee Summit so. United. Mm-hmm. I like that name. I don't at all. I hate it. Wait, weren't you the first? You were telling me the other day, you are like, the first person to win something. It was. Or get, get a college in, scholarship? or Yeah, in Lee Summit, there was three of us that all signed to go someplace. I guess there was a fourth one, too, but he didn't go. He signed but didn't transfer in until the spring because mm-hmm. he had to do some great stuff in the fall um, at a community college. But we were, like, the first ones in Lee Summit to go and do that, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, like, like nobody really gave a shit about right, Lee yeah. Summit. You know what I mean? So it's kind of cool because it's, like, nobody's done it, and it kind of opened up an opportunity where, like, some coaches saw that, okay, maybe this is a thing in Lee Summit. But other than that, nobody really cares. That just shows how new the sport is. Yeah. Because I know, like, it, soccer's, like, same deal. I feel like soccer's just, like, maybe X amount of years ahead, if that makes sense, as far as, like, the youth programs and all that. Because I know growing up, my mom didn't even have, the, like, the accessibility to play soccer. Yeah, see, that's and the now, biggest like, thing I think about, too. Yeah, like, I made this. I can't remember who I was talking to, but I made that. It might have been you. where I made that comparison to where it was like our parents growing up soccer wasn't really a thing. It was like a club sport. Uh-huh. And then like now you look at it and it's like pretty big, you know, it's it's really big. And then like lacrosse is almost at that stage that our parents were at with soccer. Does yeah, that make sense? yeah. Well, I mean so. like look at the level of soccer in like Europe and places like that compared to the United States. Yeah, they're so far ahead. Yeah, like the United States is fucking terrible, dude. Is there is there like a dominant country? Because, like, you always hear of, like, New Zealand, like, dominates in rugby, and then Europe dominates in soccer. Uh, for lacrosse? Yeah. The say, United States or Canada. Yeah, I'd just say it's over Oh, here. so these are the top dogs here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say every single year when they do their, like, international tournament or whatever yeah. they do, they have, like, Group A and Group B. And, like, Group A might consist of, like, USA, Canada, England, like the bigger countries like China, like they all have these national teams. Japan. Yeah, Japan. But in reality it always comes down to Canada versus USA and like like Iroquois. Yeah, Iroquois. The has Iroquois a team Nation too. has their own team. Yeah, I've never heard of that country. Ones. It's it's like uh the uh, Native American tribes up in New York. Oh, no way. Yeah. Okay. So they have like their own team. I think it might be I don't know, it might be like New York and Pennsylvania, I don't really know. Represent. It's been a long year. It's been a long time since I took a uh, history class. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's not necessarily just there. Like they've got their reservations also in Canada. Yeah, that's like true. it's it's everywhere. So, like they all just fit on a <coughs> category, and then if you have that background, you can play this team. But I told you, man, it's been a long time since I took history. Oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Every single Native American lacrosse player I've ever met has just been a complete dirtbag. But oh, really? Like, Was that their team? 
I don't know. They just are. Like, it's hard to explain. Do they got this, like, like standoffish thing? Like, they're, they're just, like, they're, they're like, the dumbest. Like, sometimes they're good at lacrosse, but they're just mm-hmm. stupid. All the ones, I, really? like, get, All the ones like, I play against, they're, they're mean. Yeah. That's what I'm oh, saying. really? Like, oh, dude, I mean. They're good at lacrosse, that, though, but like, they're mean. That's what I'm saying. It's, like, the Iroquois. Oh, no, I guess the Native Americans, because, like, you can't say the Iroquois or whatever. Native Americans, and then, like, the French Canadians. Both those people that I've ever played lacrosse with, I hate. Oh, dude, I hate playing Canadian teams. Well, like, see, but there's nice Canadians, and then there's, like, Long Island. There's, like, you can even ask Canadians, too, because, like, they'll be like, yeah, no, we hate the French Canadians. It's weird. Like, the French Canadians are such assholes. Really? Yeah. Long Island kids. Like, would they. Kids from Long Island. I don't know. I don't know. They're they're the worst. Why is that? They're, They're just, like, playing their teams would always just be the fucking. They're so, like, they're such douchebags. Their parents are douchebags. Just, like, fucking terrible. Like, you never want to Parents are there reinforcing all the oh, bullshit yeah. they're it's doing. Just like, like, your kid's a little fucking asshole. Like, uh-huh. no wonder he's an asshole. See, like, you're kind of an asshole. <laughs> so that kind of reminds me of, like, Georgia. Like, I was talking about before we went They were about to say me. I was like, no, fuck off. Like, Ge- <laughs> Calm like, down over there. Like, Georgia lacrosse players are the same way. Like, when uh-huh. I went to a, like, no, I guess it was a tournament in Georgia my junior year I was playing attack so I wasn't like really running down the field and when they had the ball on offense like this dad was like as I was number 18 he's like hey number 18 that fucking sucks like way to go because I like maybe like took a shot and it wasn't a good shot or something like that and I just turned to him and I was just like shut the fuck up like yeah I mean I was starting to get annoyed because these parents were saying shit Dude, I'll say shit to, to parents too. Like yeah. the mom was like, the mom was like, "Hey, you better watch your mouth." And I'm like, "Fuck you too." <laughs> and then the kid next to me goes, "You're not gonna talk to my fucking parents like that." And literally started charging at me. Wait, in the middle of the game? Yes. Like no the way. ball was on our defensive half. Uh huh. So like, cause I'm attack at the time, I wasn't supposed to go over there. The dude starts charging at me, <laughs> and like it's like it's like I'm I'm here. You know, the kid's on the inside, and then the sideline's right to my right if I'm looking down that way. The parents are right here, and I got this. They're both just fucking coming at me. And it's like, it's, I was just like, I don't know what this is. Uh-huh. Like I, that game was like the most chippy. Like, every single kid on the team was like D1 football size from Georgia. Like, oh, they wow. were just like, it seemed like every Good single kid boys, injured was baby. getting injured. It was insane. Good old Southern boys. What are the cross fights like? Is it like a sword fight at that point? Like, I'm just coming in there. Like, you're not swinging. Like, it's like you would Usually football. Usually just push each like other. Pushing, yeah, really? shoving, yeah. punching. Yeah. I mean, as soon as you throw a punch, you get ejected, just like football. So no one really ever throws a punch for the See, most if it part. goes down to it, though, it's, I mean, it's like hockey. It's like any other sport, you know. It's like you don't really necessarily use your stick to hit someone. No. At that point, you drop your gloves and you just start swinging. Okay. I, that's one thing I don't ever get, though. Yeah. I don't like, why do you drop your on. gloves to punch somebody in a hel- in the helmet? Yeah, it makes no sense. You know it makes saying? no sense. Like, take your helmet off too, or just that's what I was about to ask. Do they take the off? helmets off too? Like drop no, gloves, dude, take helmets stu- off. People are stupid. And then you have all the padding too. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know, dude. I'd keep, I'd keep the gloves on. I mean, it's like to like, talk about though. It's that like, hurt your hands. Really punching a helmet. We think like that, and obviously we would never do that. But like, we also would never get in a fight. We just antagonize. That the kids is true. To the we point would antagonize. Would like, yeah. Okay. Because we like. Do you get ejected if you just this. drop the gloves? Yeah. yeah I mean, oh, really? If you if you yeah, intentionally if you, you're about to you fight that. someone, you're you're gonna get in a lot of trouble. Okay. So you just like you just stand there and just talk shit to the kid. And, like, yeah. And just egg, just egg him on, like get him to try to fight you. It's so funny. That's pretty much the gist of it. Like, <laughs> so, like, I mean, like, we've talked about this for, like, it was, like, literally every single away trip that we've taken that's close enough to carpool, uh-huh. it's always me, Gunner, and John in the car. At least this year it has been. And, like, we talked about this, like, most recently. We were, like, dude, like, fuck it. Like, we can just, like, piss someone off. Why not just piss them off? Like, it's not going to affect us. Like, if they get pissed off, we're not going to swing on him. So, why not just get him that mad? Yeah, provoke I mean, either, him like, to get kicked out. Either he's going to be like, yo, do this fight, let's fight his fight. Or, like, he's going to do that and he's actually going to fight you. Or he's not going to do something that's going to be in his head the rest of the game. And he just plays, like, complete shit because he's trying to prove something to you. And you're just laughing at him the entire time. Yeah. Like, I've literally gotten into that with, like, face-offs before. When we were playing Slew last year, the kid was like, fuck you, fuck you. And I was like, do something about it. You know what I mean? Like, he was like, you just chirping back. Like, you say whatever you want. You could literally say the stupidest shit. It's going to get to his head. Did. It's so funny. Yeah. It's, hey, it's that's the fun part about sports. Like, the psychology of getting other people riled up. Uh, that's the thing I miss the most about playing. Because, like, I'm coaching this year. Uh-huh. So, I don't get to do that. But 
when I played, it was so fun. Just you getting in people's heads. Coach. It was so fun to do. You could chirp the other coach. Nah, dude, that's not professional. <laughs> I mean, D. Rich did it. Yeah, but. <laughs> Pussy! Yeah. I remember the whole sideline skip back and forth thing. Remember that? Oh, I'm on the field. I'm not on the field. I'm on the field. <laughs> on the field. Like this other coach, we were playing Baylor, and the coach is like, He's on the field. He's not supposed to be on the field. And the ref passed, and he, like, jumped on the field, looked at him, and goes, ugh. Gets <laughs> on the field, ugh. Uh, uh, and I'm just like, Jesus. Wait, your coach? Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. I used to talk shit to all, like, other coaches when we played. Some coaches are fucking douchebags, though. Like, the Arkansas coach. The guy's a fucking like douchebag. He he's, psych- he's psycho. Yeah. And the K- a KU, I don't even know if he's still the coach, but the guy that was the coach, he was such a dick. I'm trying to think of like what schools were like that. I don't those know. two, I, like I just purpose personally can't remember anything specifically. Those those are about it. Just those two. I mean, like Slew's coach. I don't really care for him. But isn't really saying who's their coach? Players. It's that Woody guy. I don't know. Yeah, I think I know you're talking. Because he about. was like, "No, we're not going to do running clock." It's like, dude, come on, man. It's like 1 to 18. Like, let's just get this over. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, we're not going to do running clock. Score ends up being like 2 to 32. It's That's like, ridiculous. What's the point yeah. of this, man? Like, what did you prove? So Nothing. Then you're risking somebody getting hurt at that point. Exactly. Too. And True. it's just like, we all have things we'd rather be doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You guys might as well get home earlier. <laughs> like, thanks for coming down. You know what I mean? Thanks for driving down here. Appreciate it. So... See you later. Yeah. yeah. Kick your ass next year. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, that's pretty much it. So, which will be exciting because we don't know anything about the Texas teams we're about to go play. And, like, they very well could be the same. And yeah. When's that? Bags next weekend. Oh, no way. You're going to Texas? Mm-hmm. Dallas. Yeah, on no Friday. Way. That'd be cool. Because last year we went down and played UT Dallas and Baylor. And we ended up playing Baylor and UT Dallas in the playoffs. So, like, the two teams we played we had already seen. But this year – we didn't go down and play any uh, Texas schools. So. Are they all club? Like every school yeah. you play? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yep. Can you get scholarships for club? No. No. It used to be. So before the NAI had like a, their own thing, uh-huh. there was some smaller schools like Missouri Valley, uh, MOBAP, which I think of another St. Louis school. I guess that's it when it comes to like the NAI lacrosse schools out of um, St. Louis area. But oh, and St. Mary's in Ottawa, they used to play in the MCLA. That was like my freshman year, so yeah. 2016 was their last season. Mm-hmm. And then in the NAI formed a team. Well, I guess actually that was the first year of joint. They had MCLA and NAI, but like you could go play MCLA and have a scholarship. But technically, you're under a scholarship at an NAI school. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm kind of following. Yeah, so like. The only reason why you got a scholarship is because you were going to a school where pretty much everybody gets a scholarship at. Okay. So you're so going they, to a school like MOBAP. You're going to a school like St. Mary's, Ottawa, like those smaller, like, religious schools where everybody that's going there pretty much plays a sport. Do they funnel most those schools that suck. In? Do they funnel most of that in through, like, academic scholarships, though? No. Like, when I went to MOBAP, I got thirteen five just for playing a sport. And then I got, like, a $2,000 grant just for, like, living on campus. Okay, well... So, which made it pretty comparable to, like, Mizzou's price. So. How much is Mizzou? It's, like, around this. I can't even remember. Like, my mm-hmm. mom was, like, doing the financial stuff for me. She's I'm not, I know. I didn't even look at going to Mizzou or anything like that. So, I, I have no fucking I know thing. you're talking about, though. With the, more than going here. Like, if you play a sport, they'll, like, call it, like, a, I don't know, like, student performance. It's like a grant. Yeah, a grant. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's called. But it's 100% like, because you're playing a sport. That's like yeah, three yeah. Where you really can't get a like a scholarship. Technically, it's just NCAA rules. They mm-hmm. just give you grants. Yeah, because they don't have that which much is just money. Which like housing allowance and shit like that. It's like yeah. if you come here, we'll just let you eat for free. You know what I mean? Which equals out to be this much money. So yeah. Usually those schools are more expensive anyway, so you're paying oh, yeah. more. Yeah, because it's complete bullshit. Because if you think about it, like. I can't even remember what, like, if I was a normal student to go to Missouri Valley, uh-huh. it was, like, stupid expensive. But, like, with the scholarship, it makes it comparable to everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's like they hike up the prices and they go, let's say it's, like, 40000 to go there a year. They're like, oh, here's your $25,000 scholarship. And you're looking at how much you're saving. Yeah. yeah. You're just going there for fifteen. You can come here. And, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Cheaper. 
so and have a better like academic get a better degree get a better like lifestyle and everything like that with teachers that like care more so you're, you're talking about the big school yeah 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 absolutely Cause I say, like when i went to missouri valley i was like this is high school yeah yeah so i mean i was just like i'm in a high school class that's how the two colleges i went to before they're, they're yeah, ridiculous it's, just, it's yeah it's probably a smaller world than high school at least mine was like it was a really i mean yeah i guess because you're only really hanging out with that one sport mm-hmm. i only hung out with lacrosse guys it got boring yeah so yeah when i went to missouri valley like when we played there it was, it was weird it was like being at the high school. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Like you don't get cell service unless you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Oh, that's shitty. It's Wait, did you transfer in as a sophomore? No, I we played Missouri at Missouri Valley. Oh, playing. Okay, yeah, okay, I feel you. Uh, I think it was like in the fall, maybe. Uh, that honestly, was my sophomore year. Yeah, it might have been yeah. in the fall or for a regular season. I, I don't remember. It was fall because I remember it was like two weeks before going out. We still haven't touched our sticks. We were doing conditioning drills, and I was like, I quit. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to the school I just came from with you guys, with like 15 people on this roster, and you guys haven't even touched your sticks or practice. Just running? Yet. That's yeah. all you do? Really? That's all. Like, we showed up to the cross. And, like, I bitch about it all the time. Uh huh. But it's like, whenever he was, like, in the program, like, like the year before, even the year before that or whatever, they did a lot more kind of like oh, bullshit. We done so much. But, like, like, when I look at it, I was just like, I'm not going to be a part of this. So that's why I quit. Uh-huh. I eventually came back. He convinced me when I was really drunk, but <laughs> it, yeah. Usually that doesn't work, you know. Usually in the moment it works, and then the follow up, it's like. Eh, maybe that's pretty not. much the only thing in that conversation that I remember that night. Uh huh. And I woke up with like a text already typed out. And I just sent <laughs> it to the coach, and he was like, "Yeah, it sounds." Oh, good. oh, yeah. I thought you meant you texted him. Okay. No, yeah, like I, he, it was like a joint sig up yeah. Kappa Sig party uh-huh. at projects. And yeah, was, I'm pretty sure it was like literally me and Joe there, and then, like we were doing our thing, and then yeah, he just convinced me, and I was like, "Fuck it, I guess." <laughs> yeah, fuck it. It's gonna get me out of pledge shit, and they get my head, so I'm like, "Yeah, I'm there out. yeah." So and then say second semester. <laughs> I love how clean. your incentive was to get out of shit. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like it's true, dude. I mean, like it, yeah. So it was funny though, cause me and another one of my pledge brothers or whatever, we he played the cross too, and. I quit, and, like, the next week, he, he was giving me shit for quitting. The next week, he quit. Yeah. He was like, you're right. I'm not about it either. <laughs> I mean, running's not that fun, especially when you do a lot of it. I don't think it was necessarily just the running. A lot of it was, like, and a lot of these problems have been fixed now, thank God. But, like, just it's my way or the highway. We had a big problem with that for a while. As the a coach? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So. Dude, we used to run two and a half miles of sprints to start off the season for, like, t- the first two weeks. Well, like, you'd sprint, like, maybe, like, 200? No, it would be two and a half miles of sprints every time. How do you sprint two and a half miles? It'd be, like, broken up. Uh, so, like, you, you sprint, like, a certain yeah, amount and then like, yeah. add it up to two Like, and one half. day we do, like, su- like suicides, and another day we do, like, full field down and backs, so like, twice. That's a lot. Yeah. No, one day we did, like, Indian runs. So that was Some before laps. I even got there. You got you, said, you said that you guys would run like two miles before practice even started. Right? Oh, so yeah. We used to do two two mile runs around campus before practice. And, and they, had, a lot. Like, they had two days, too. Yeah, we do that in the morning. Which is like, for me, like... That was my sophomore back, year, actually. Back on like the talk of like where I went to school before I came here. Like when I went to Missouri Valley and I had that scholarship, we had three days. But I was totally fine with that because I understood what I was there for and school was easy. Uh-huh. When I come here and I play at a club level and it's supposed to be just like have fun, you know what I mean, play the sport and compete at the same level that you would have like if you go anywhere else. Uh-huh. It's like I don't have time for two days. I don't have time for three days. Like obviously we all know because we're college kids that like school's a lot of work. You know what I mean? Like you can make what you want out of school. Like you can like push yourself and get like really good grades. You can like half ass eight getting half ass grades or you can focus on just the cross and get shitty grades you know what i mean because um, i've done that like where i just focus on the cross i got shitty grades before but it's like i don't know like when i was at missouri valley like i did three days and i was completely fine with it but school there was easy you know what i mean like you had mandatory study hall hours or everything like that and like here it's just like whenever like coach tried to put that on us i was just like i can't can't commit this much time and be a good student at the same time, you know? Mm. Well, suck so. not being able to make your schedule around, like, practice time. 
Because like every yeah. other sp- like if you're like the actual an actual sport at the school, you get to register before anybody else. So you just get like completely pick your schedule. While all the but you guys don't get that open. benefit. No. I, know, just I didn't know you got that. I didn't realize you had that. Yeah, no, we just register like normal, like at the normal time. So so we get sucks. literally nothing special other than like if we go through the Adidas catalogs, sometimes it's just a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Then if you're you still were, paying, you were to but go into like mess that up. Say if you were to go into an Adidas store and want this black hoodie, uh huh, you might pay fifty bucks. But if we're buying them, we might pay like forty or forty five. But it has the school logo <laughs> on it, and it has the cross on it. Okay. Yeah, so, like, but we're also buying it in bulk, you know? Okay, yeah. So, but then again, at the same time, like, we also outsourced our, like, logo sometimes. So, I don't know. It might have been even more. So now I think about Fuck, it. I don't know. Because, like, when I talked to him, he was like, oh, sometimes we go through this place because we got to change up the bear head a little bit or do this or that. And it's just like, I don't know, man. That's the only cool thing we get. Like, I got cheap shoes. I get, like, Adidas yeah, tennis like, shoes for 50 bucks. I think it's, like, bucks. 40% off, I want to yeah, say. Same. Mine are, like, 50 like bucks. 40, That's pretty solid. If you order through, like, the team catalog, it's, like, 40%, I believe. Or something like that. It's just not bad. Get cheap shoes. That's about the only cool the thing. Cleats that suck. What do you guys think the hardest sport is? I don't um. know. I bet I, I would say really, lacrosse is up there. I feel like that's really hard. I don't know. I've never played hockey. Is hockey hard? See, I feel like hockey saying. would be up I've there. I've never played but hockey, see, but like I feel like skating and like like people can just lay you stopping out. Stopping on like, command. Yeah. Yeah. That's like that's really hard to answer because it's just perspective, though. Yeah, true. true. Because it's like it's really like like for us in the Midwest, uh-huh. lacrosse is hard. But he says, you know, like it's like the thing to do. You know what I mean? We go to yeah, Texas. We go to Texas, great. and people are like, "Holy shit, you can't throw a football twenty-five yards." You know what I mean? It's like it's like it's hard for us to like think of a specific sport that's harder than another one, just because like like if we go north to Minnesota, mm-hmm. they're like, "You guys can't skate." You know what I mean? Like we've been skating yeah, since so we like were I never three. Played hockey before, yeah, so that's super so, easy because yeah. they know how to. It's like it really depends. Like it's almost the hardest sport. You're just gonna say a sport that like nobody plays. And like for me, the hardest sport would be rugby because I have no clue what the fuck's going on. Right. And it looks Dude, what about cricket. See, that's what I'm saying. Like the, I didn't ball, think about. I, I, I was thinking. No fu- I just I just have no fucking idea what's going on. That's yeah, why same. it would be hard for me. Or like because I feel or like polo. I have to ride a horse. That would. Be, or a uh, water polo. Oh, dude, water polo is fun. That'd be because you got to tread water the yeah. entire time. That's what I'm saying. Like it's hard for oh, us to like. A horse it'd be like saying Quidditch. Like that was yeah, that'd be hard. There's Quidditch, and you gotta be rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. It's like Quidditch. Uh huh. Like we look at like Quidditch as a joke, but like it's kind of a hard sport. Wait, isn't that? I thought that was Harry Potter. Yeah, but like there's legit club sports teams. No like, way. For a while, KU was one of like the top five teams. No way. Club sports team. How do they do it Quidditch. since they don't have flying brooms? They, they, <laughs> they, they literally put a stick between their legs and they no go around and do everything. Yeah. Interesting. Do they like spank it like they're on like the they play horses? I look huh. it up, but like I'm pretty it's sure it was like KU had a good team. Like Thing Texas A and M has a good team. Like it's weird. What about just between us? Like it, collectively, what would be like top five even? Like hardest sports? hardest sports. I'd say like I MMA is probably up there. Lacrosse is probably up there. Basketball is probably up there. Hockey, I would say soccer. Hockey. Oh, I'm dog shit at soccer. I'm that, that's the, terrible. And just like you were saying, like I, what I've I'm noticed so is like and playing basketball. I suck at basketball. Basketball's hard. I'm just basketball like is tall. hard. That's the only thing I got. Rebounds, rebounds all day. Yeah, but I like miss layups and shit. And I'm like, when I jump, I can like touch the rim. Like I shouldn't miss a layup. <laughs> but can you dunk? No, not anymore. I'm too Are you close? Fat. I don't know. I've been trying. <laughs> too fat. I've been trying forever. I used to be able to dunk, but I was in like really good shape then. But not anymore now. I can touch the rim still, probably. I hope. That'd I be bad if I, I couldn't. So I can't. That'd be bad if I, I couldn't. I mean, I fuck, dude, I'm six three. I got long ass arms. I should be able to touch the rim. <laughs> you probably can. I hope so. Cause I, I can get like. Close and you're you're a lot taller than me. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. I don't know what my vertical is. <laughs> what about what's the easiest sport? I feel like that's even harder to answer. It's like that. That's kind of like the best part about playing sports. It's like the the sport. the challenge in it. You know. I want to say something, but it, I just know it would piss off some people. <laughs> like, say, I would say, like, golf. 
<laughs> like I, it's that's to piss Joe off. <laughs> yeah. this, but like, honestly, dude, like if you get the fundamentals down, I feel like it's just that. I feel like it's really. I feel like it's somewhat easy to get like okay at, but mm-hmm. it'd be really hard to get like amazing at. Yeah. I guess you have a point. Cause I don't. Yeah, it's hard to like say a sport because like even each sport has a different position. Every what about track and field? Like, Does that count like as a running? sport? I mean, yeah. Maybe like throwing, like uh. Well, I mean, like I feel like there's just Top like put type thing. You can, there's something in track yeah. and field you're good at. Like maybe it's like the hundred yard dash or. The 400 meters. That's how dash. they recruit in high school, too. They're like, hey, yeah. we'll take oh, anybody. Dude, we just so want numbers. Cross country. I remember yeah. so yeah. many yeah. kids used to do track and field. Like, so many kids. Because there's, like, so much shit that they could do. It's like, really? Did you, like, you, you run? Yeah. <laughs> You're, like, 350. Did yeah. your high school in New York have, like, its own middle school? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have a middle school. Is that how it worked in New York, too? Yeah, we had a middle or school. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I, I talked to, like, even some Kansas City schools don't have that. So like, oh really? Yeah. Like, what is like, like, What do you K like, through eight? It was literally like, well, they'd have middle schools, but it'd be like elementary, middle school, freshman center, then high school. No. It was yeah, freshman dude. center? Was that like ninth grade and eighth grade or something? Or? No, it was literally they, just ninth grade. When and I it was, was like both the high schools in there, we would literally go to the same freshman center, then separate to their high schools. Well, when I was weird. When I was yeah, in middle no, school, like, we just had either. It's weird to me. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade in the middle school, and then the middle school was like connected to the high school by this tunnel. Well, then, like, it was See, that's what I'm saying. Seventh, that's like, eighth. So you didn't necessarily have this, like, normal middle school where it was just seventh and eighth grade. You had sixth, seventh, and eighth grade? Yeah. So, yeah, like, when I think of, like, the normal middle school, like, I had was seventh and eighth grade. Mm-hmm. And, like, going back on the track thing, like, literally in eighth grade was the year that you could, like, do a sports team for the middle school. Oh, so you okay. got Everybody did track. You could do it in seventh track. grade. Is that the only us, sport you could yeah. play though? Seventh and eighth grade was in like the modif- they called it modified. Was seventh and eighth grade? Oh, okay, see, like that's what I'm saying. Like whenever I was like, Wait, did you guys have a middle school? Like we only had seventh and eighth grade. Oh, uh, see, that's when I when yeah, I, I got heard of that. ninth grade, they added, f- they built like a separate wing that was like shut off from the rest of the middle school, and that they added fifth grade there. Like just fifth grade? Yeah, fifth grade there, but it was like part of the middle school. Okay. So, like, the middle school was on like fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. How many people but, did you like, graduate with? Like 200. That seems like really complex for just 200 students. Well, they had like too many kids in elementary schools. Because like a lot of like... like a thousand in elementary schools. Well, a lot of people that would like move on to like the military base would have younger kids. Like a lot of... Because a lot of them are like younger soldiers. Oh, do you live outside a military base? Yeah, I lived like right outside the military base. Okay, okay. And then there's an elementary school where I lived. And then there's two in Carthage. And, like, they're all part of the Carthage district. It's because, I don't know if you knew, but his dad was in the military. Oh, yeah, my dad, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. So we were stationed on the base for, like, two years, and we were going to be there. They knew they were going to be there for quite a while, so they moved off base and bought a house. So, yeah. But, like, they had a lot of, like, younger kids. They were starting to get a lot of them. But then our high school was 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. But a lot of, like, the 9th grade was all in, like, its separate wing. And you wouldn't have to leave for class. Like, all your classes would be down there. Mm-hmm. That kind of sucks, though. Because like, if you think about, like, the freshman center I was just talking about, it's like, if it's separate in a separate wing, it's like you're almost a freshman twice. Think yeah, about, yeah, like, yeah. If you go to general population, this sounds so weird. You think about when you said it's, like, prisons, but it's like, like you're, if you're in your 10th grade and you're finally just going, like, the real high school, it's like you're a freshman again. Yeah, that's true. The juniors and the seniors are, like, oh, a sophomore. Yeah, because in the most part, you only see... Like during lunch is the only time you'd see older like older kids and like I was ta- I was like advanced in science so I took tenth grade science which was like biology so I had to go upstairs for that so I got to leave that way. Did you get bullied the whole time? No. Just get picked on. No. <laughs> do you think so, that's why they no. do it to like avoid like bullying or whatever? Like so like I think so. I think that might just create freshmen? more bullying though. I've just like isolating kids. Uh Cause like I don't know. Like, people need to be bullied, I think. I think to an extent. Well, dude, Some like, people need to get their ass kicked. Yeah. Some people. Well, just people, like, you're just going to meet shitty people in it's your just life. It's like I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. everybody needs to experience you're this gonna, shit. You're going to get humbled out a little bit. People, and, like, you don't want that to be when you're a fucking adult. Because then, like, you're going to be a pussy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit will toughen you up. I used to be fat. Like, I, got bull- I got made fun of for being fat. I just made fun of people back. They make fun of me for being fat. I just make fun of them for like something that like something that was wrong with them. I mean, like, 
a girl that's in like seventh or eighth grade. They're so easy. To make you learned how to take it. You yeah. learned how to take it, and you learned how to give it back too. Yeah, you just gotta give it, take it, give it back, and like it is what it is. Or brush it off as like a joke, yeah. or not let it phase you. Yeah, because like. This one girl was cross-eyed, and like she, yeah, this I mean this was mean, but like I like she'd say something to me, and I'd just be like, well, at least I can not be fat. Like you're still gonna be cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean so mean. That's so mean to say. But like she made fun of me first, so I made fun of her back. Yeah, some dude was picking fights with me, and I I had a fair amount of acne, like in, in high school or middle school, sometime around then. And uh, he's he's like, oh yeah, you got like so much acne, and I'm like, well. At least my acne will go away, but your big nose is staying forever, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sometimes funny. you just gotta get him where that get him where it counts, you know. Exactly. Just get that quick little jab in there. And like, he started ah. it. She started it. So. Exactly. You know, it's not my fault. I mean, I guess kind of is, but. And you're not fat anymore, so. No. Getting getting fat again though. She's still cross eyed. <laughs> I don't think so. I think she had surgery. No way. There's surgery for getting like un, un- I, cross-eyed. I guess. Like, there's surgery I don't know. for about everything. At this I've point. never, I've really? never had to do like, it. Whatever you want, you can just get it fixed. You know, yeah, if you want to look true. like this guy, you can look like him. You just got to pay for surgery. Genetic engineering. Facial reconstruction. Is it plastic what surgery? If, what if they like made her eyes go like too far out? And then it's yeah, like the opposite of cross-eyed. So funny. <laughs> she's like, like she a like, see straight. Has, like, no depth <laughs> perception. She's like, just trying to like, oh, I can't. Like, Fuck, where's the bottom? <laughs> but great peripherals. Oh she just like turn her head like <laughs> this like way to catch something. The, she's going past one eighty and like <laughs> yeah. back like two seventy. <laughs> like she a chameleon. See, like, this, you see like this it's part like of the, the alligator. It's like an alligator. <laughs> And I, yeah. she's really gonna watch. She's gonna yeah, watch. This yeah, yeah. She's gonna randomly watch this one day. Be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hopefully not. That'd be so funny. She'd be like reading the map, like looking at you with this eye, but like reading the map, <laughs> <laughs> trying to look at you with this eye. That's great. That's great. Oh man. <laughs> like if if she was me, like I'm just I'm just staring here the entire time, like looking at both of you. Just... Yeah, but really, you're just looking at the camera. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Look at the, the camera, camera look on this at, wall that, yeah. is red. That's so funny. <laughs> Do you guys like that? Um, I thought you guys would appreciate that. The Let's Boogie. I was looking at that when I first oh, came in. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I love Boogie. Right, Sam, Sam. I'm going to miss that place. Oh, I did me too. Bouncer at Boogie. We got the bouncer here. Yeah. Checking IDs. At the door. Oh, yeah. I oh, do nothing makes me happier than being, like, blacked out and seeing Justice at Boogie. <laughs> Justice! I was, I was, check, I always want to go on his side. I did, too. Talk. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's go to Boogie. <laughs> oh, Boogie's the shit, dude. Let's, uh, what's your wildest Boogie story? Let's just go around oh, the table. Yeah. Wildest Boogie story. All right, wait, a little background. If you're not familiar with what Boogie is, it's a uh, Springfield bar. I'd say all of our favorite bars. Oh yeah, dude. Twenty five cent wells. Yes. Can't beat that. Can't yeah. beat that. I agree. Craziest boogie story. I would have to say I have way more crazy Zan stories just because I was working there longer. But I think the craziest thing was like we usually get one in one out around like eleven thirty. Uh huh. Like usually actually around eleven. Sometimes even earlier if it's really nice out. Especially early in the semester. This was like maybe like the first month we were open. So it was pretty early. So we were getting one in, one out like before 10 some nights. And we had like this older lady go into the single stall and she passed out in there. (laughs) And like, dude, it's just something else. Like when it's one in, one out and you're trying to like get a drill, open up the door, (laughs) deal with cops, deal with drunk assholes. And, like, get this drunk girl out. <laughs> that's, like, that's... What do you do? Just pick up, like, dead weight? Well, I didn't pick her up. I just had to get the door open. Okay. And then, like, I kind of just got it, and I think I put it on someone else to open it up. I just got the drill, and I was just standing there and watching <laughs> it all go down. Like, that was enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's stuff like that. Like, I've never really dealt with fights inside a boogie. It's mm-hmm. usually, like, a... Honestly, not that bad of a crowd. I've dealt with a lot of fights inside Zan. Not like a lot, but good amount. I've been punched in the face. Like You've that, been punched at work? 
I wasn't working. I was off. I was pretty drunk. Okay. But yeah, I got decked in the face. It, I learned why I don't remember any of that happening. Why? I wasn't there. Yeah, I know. Because you guys went, after we were at that house party, you guys went back to Zan. Yeah. And went I went home because it was right by my house. Yeah. No, yeah. I just saw my manager trying to bring up a fight and like I, drunk confidence, stepped in. I was blacked out, got knocked out, <laughs> blacked out some more. Were you got knocked out by the punch? I don't remember. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to look at the video. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know it's just me stumbling, trying to do something stupid. Be that like a hero. What did you get punched for? I don't really know. I think, well, I think I just grabbed the dude and was like, no, dude, don't do that. Because he was trying to fight someone and like his butt uh-huh. went over the top and just decked me. Oh, That's shit. That's what I remember. And like, from Oh, he thought you were trying me. to fight him or something. No, okay. I was just trying to break it up. Yeah. yeah from what's all I remember. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't see you, like, being, like, the angry person in that uh, situation. Usually yeah. I'm pretty calm. Like, even when I see something about to go down, I'm like, dude, just, like, you don't want to do this. Mm-hmm. I was like, you, you can, like, you can start this. a fight with this guy. Oh, this here's another good story. Actually, last night. This literally happened last night. <laughs> I was working the door as Ann, and this dude, like, is pretty dead. Like, it's not busy because, obviously, Easter weekend. Mm-hmm. This dude gets thrown out. He gets kicked out because he, like, threw some dude to the ground. And I'm like, okay, this is weird, whatever. He comes out, <laughs> and he's standing there, and it's like this really skinny dude with blonde hair. Like, looked like some emo weird kid. I'm like, whatever. He looks at me, and I'm like, hey, bud, can I get your band? Like, you're kicked out. And he's like, no. And he, like, stormed off. <laughs> no. And, like, went to Patton and just sat there and, like, you put his hands, in his, his hands in, like, his palm, was just staring at the ground. I was like, okay, like, whatever. I'm just going to chill here. Five minutes later, he comes up. He goes, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm like, all right, dude. Like, you don't, need to, you don't, you don't need to like sit here and like apologize. Like, I really don't care. I was like, you can't come back in. He's like, he's like, all right, dude. Like, and mind you, he was like coming to tears right now. Like, this is like he's he's like crying to me. He's like, he's like, my love of my life's in there. He's like, and she was dancing with another man, and like he said it really deep and like scary. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh, God, like, this is not going to turn out well. I've got, like, literally the cops are standing right next to me. They're just, like, dude, it's just, like, bar patrol. Like, they're just hanging out. Like, most of us are cool with them. Like, they'll come talk to you. Let's catch up. That's fucking And, like, they're, like the dude's, like, the cop's standing behind the guy, like, while he's telling me the story. And he's just making faces at me. And I'm struggling to keep a straight face while this kid's crying. <laughs> some girl inside. He's like, dude, I, can't, I need to go back in there. I promise I'll keep my hands in my pocket. And I'm like, dude, look, man, it's not going to happen. Like, I'm sorry. You you're ru- not I'll keep ruined. my hands he's in my like, pocket. You ruined this kid's like, night. He's just like, <laughs> he starts making, he goes, <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm just like, oh, God, this is not good. And I'm like, dude, sorry, man. Like, come back another time. He's like, I fucked up. He's like, and she won't give me another chance because she's, She's just over me. She wants another man now. And I'm like, dude. I'm like, and at the same time, all this is going down. Like, I'm like half smiling, about to cry out of laughter. And I've got the cop standing behind him, still making faces at me. But I'm not looking at him because I see it in the corner of my eyes. And I'm just like, this is the worst experience of my life. Because, like, I'm the only one working the door. Like, I've got a lot of things going on around me as am people coming and coming out. And I've got this dude crying about his girlfriend who's in there. And I'm just like, Sorry, dude. Like, maybe next time. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, <laughs> maybe next time. Just come time. back next time and don't throw a guy to the ground and, like, everything's cool. <laughs> like, I'm sorry you fucked up. Like, I don't know what to fucking tell you, dude. I'm in a good relationship. So <laughs> like, I, I don't know what to say. So, that's funny. So, those that's are funny. Some, just some weird stories. I've oh, got a fucking funny. time, but. What about you, Gunner? Dude, I honestly can't There's remember. There's no way he remembers. <laughs> it's like, what's your weirdest story? Is like, uh, I got there one time, and then I and woke I up did. the next morning. <laughs> yeah. That's my story. <laughs> yeah, I don't, dude, but you, you don't just go to Boogie and kind of drink. Yeah. Like, you yeah, have to get blacked thing. out if you go. I'm like, I don't, honestly, I don't remember shit. <laughs> I've been to Boogie too many times to try to, like, and too much weird random shit happens there. Like, the but boogie, like, that's so just, bo- uh, it's just, that's just boogie, you know? <laughs> so it's just like, like, and that's the beauty of boogie. Yeah. The yeah. beauty of boogie. You see, and it's just like, oh, that was fucking weird. But like, I am in spring, I am in Springfield, Missouri and that's boogie. So like, fuck it. I'm going to, I'm going to get another drink. <laughs> I mean, like, like you said, 25 cent wells. It's like, 
a, do- a, a dollar, dollar for like, four drinks like yeah. holy shit that's crazy oh yeah it's like at that point here's 20 dollars like i'll come back to you all night just throw me something to keep the change <laughs> <laughs> like you know what i mean yeah it's like you're still winning so oh it definitely makes for a good night it's crazy. really good it night. makes a good night for you guys but it's like i've got to deal with like the other end like, uh-huh. i've never had problems with like obviously you guys there but like i try not to there's some I try people not to have problems. Like, every single night I'm like, oh, God damn it, dude. Here's your band. I'll see you in like 10 minutes when your ass gets dragged out. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, it's, it's literally like we have those people. I do remember I was like, so fucked up one night. And like, me and me and Tim were trying to get away from this one, like, crazy girl. I and did, I, I didn't know how, I didn't know what to do. And I was like, she keeps following me. Like, Tim, what do we do? Like, her friend, because her friend wanted to hook up with Tim. And I was like, Tim, we got to get out of here. And I was like, you know, I just kind of need to worry about getting myself out of the situation. Like, Fuck, fuck them like he'll figure it, he'll figure it out um so like, i had the bounce i like talked to justice and then like talked to like this other dude that looks like the situation and i was like i need you to pretend to kick me out so like he pretended like i was getting kicked out and shit like that and like brought me outside he was like to get was, away from tim he, no to, yeah to get away from like these two girls and tim and he was like what was that for i was like i just need to get away from those two girls and tim i appreciate it thanks man and i just <laughs> dipped out of there and tim, well, how do you how do you go about that do you like put you in a headlock or was it was no it, you're just like you're too drunk you need to come here and like just like grab my arm and i was like all right so, <laughs> all right sounds good and, like they just both were like what the fuck and i was just like i don't know man <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and then tim texts me he's like you fucking douchebag i was like i'll see you at so home. he knew it was going down <laughs> yeah like as soon as like he's like as soon as he saw me leaving he's like that fucking douchebag like <laughs> well, i mean there's been plenty of times i think it's been like two or three times i think i did it that night too where like i walked by i was going to the restroom or something like that and i can just tell like in their eyes it's like i need to get away from the situation so i'll just be like hey dude come here i need to show you this and grab him and just go down that way and no like, way and it, yeah it, yeah they don't follow and like, it's one time, so dope. I think one time I was like, dude, I'm going to take you guys to the roof. And they're like, oh, I want to see it. And I was like, yeah, you guys can't go. <laughs> just, they were like, okay, like whatever. And like, we just walked. To whatever. And, like, just ditched them. Like, it was like, nothing <laughs> happened. It was the best awesome. thing is there's like two bars there. So like you can avoid like for people that boogie. You don't like to get uh-huh. bubbles. Yeah. Oh, here they come the bubbles. Swoop, go around and just go back to boogie. There you go. You know, hey, I got to show you something on this side. Like, <laughs> just yeah, walk so that side. <laughs> so. oh, I will say, though, the worst thing about being a bouncer there. Is like the way Joe puts it. It's like you're sounds so douchey to say because I hate this like comparison, but it's so true. It's like you're almost like a public figure, and like you can't go to the gym, you can't walk to class, you can't be in class without someone bringing it up, bringing up asking what asking you about it. Fucking celebrity your job. over here. Yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. No, I hate it, but it's so true. <laughs> I literally was at the gym the other day. And some dude comes up to me that I've seen maybe twice in my life. He goes, hey, like when I say twice, like maybe I've ID'd them and maybe I've seen them at the gym. Hey, bro, Casual. what's up? What's up? He's like, you working tonight? Oh, cool, dude. We're coming through. And I'm like. He's we. Who are you? I'm Who are like, you? <laughs> I'm just like, all right, dude. So I'm going to skip my pools and I'm just going to go upstairs. Like I skip a workout, go upstairs, and I'll come back later on. You're not around, <laughs> like dead ass serious, and like that's like that's what I experienced. You avoid that situation that much? I do not like that situation at all. Really? Yeah, it's so annoying. Cause like you get a so like there's like there's a good end of it where like everybody looks at you like you're the cool guy, you work the door, but then you also have to be the asshole that works the door. Yeah, know? yeah. So it's like I don't like having that extra attention because like me, I just want to stay low key. I just want to get through the day, do my shit, and, like, that's it. It's, like, I don't like having, like, I don't like being All the fame. Like, I don't. It's not like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Joe put it like that because it's funny to say it like that. Because uh-huh. it kind of, like, turns out like that. But, like, I don't I like it. Famous, famous. It's, like, if you ask, like, anybody, like, it's, like, even, like, with the other door guys, like, they have the same thing. Do you think people try to, like, suck up to you so that, yes. like, so that you're, yes. they have, like, the in at boogie kind yes, of deal? Yes, the in, like, oh, line skips, like. Oh, I know the bouncer. Yeah, like, we, I want to, des- I'm going to describe him. I'm going to describe him. Okay. I'm not going to say names. No name dropping. He was this cap sig. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? No, not yet. Was a cap sig. One of Joe's good friends, I guess at this point it's almost a giveaway if he's hearing it, but we'll see, I'll just say the name after, but like, it's like whenever he gets to the line, he's like, Justice, let me in, dude. Like, fuck you. You're not going to let me in. Fuck you. Fuck you. Everything flips. And then when he's in, he's like, oh, bro, what's up? Thank you. 
You know what I mean? Or like when you see him anywhere else, he's like, sup, but he's in the line, he's got a way, he's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck this, you fucking dickhead. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Oh, I thought you meant like sarcastic fuck you. Sometimes like he's it is, and like a lot of times I'm like, it doesn't sound like it. And I'm like, dude, if you want to be cool with me, you're going to quit this. Yeah, that's, I'll get that's you weird. I'll get you as I can. He's like, you start disrespecting me, then everybody else is going to start disrespecting me. You know what I mean? So that's why I try to tell people like, if you're waiting and I'm going to get you in as soon as I can, like be at least kind so everybody else doesn't feed off that and think that's how it works yeah yeah so there's people like that that's entitled Especially people that like that's i would tell more close to me mm-hmm. you know what i mean so that's some shit i don't fuck with so people just like assume that i can do this for them or assume i can do that like it's like dude it doesn't work like this this is my job like you know what i mean like, yeah it yeah. sucks but like it's what i have to do so yeah that, w- that would be annoying any like assumptions yeah, that would get irritating. I'm gonna come up to you and be like, "Hey, you're the boogie door guy now." Dude, it happened. <laughs> hey, dead What's up, like, man? How you doing? Hey, you working like, tonight? Dude, well, like, so, like, here's another story. It's like, no, I, text, I get a, I text him and ask him that. <laughs> I like, I save, get a, save, save. I get a fake, and I'm like, it's "This is no, a fake." Let's go out. And she's like, "It's usually a girl that does this." She's like, "Come on, Justice, we follow each other on Instagram." I'm like, "What the fuck?" What does that have to do with anything? Like, get the, the get the fuck out of here. That tells you me and no. 1,300 other people, calm yeah, down. Like, get the fuck, the fuck <laughs> off. Like, I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, no, absolutely fucking not. Like, that changes nothing. Pull the reverse. Like, hey, I got a girlfriend. No, I'm just like, <laughs> like, Follow a lot of people stupid. on Instagram. Yeah, right? It's fucking I don't know a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What is that? Like, following on Instagram, that's such a superficial connection to make. Like, such a superficial bridge to gap. Speaking of the girlfriend thing. I saw you I, on my suggested friends one time, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do look like such a dick sometimes whenever, like, Sabrina shows up and I just let her in in front of everybody. Like, I legit, like, it's the right thing to do, you know? I, mean? <laughs> I legit stop the line, give you one in, one out, turn to her and her friends, give them bands, and then send them in. <laughs> So that like, probably pisses everybody off. That's corruption. A lot of times I do. <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of times I do it for Gunner like, too. Political yeah. corruption. And, but it's like. No, he does for me all the time. And like what people give you like the most shittiest face when you're walking in, right? Oh, it's so funny. So that's what I'm saying. Awesome. Like, I, I wouldn't care like, like being in your position, but your shit. position would suck. Like, you run away. I'm still there. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. like, what was he? And I'm like, bottle service. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I throw out some stupid answer. Friends of the club. <laughs> like, he won the he won the raffle. I don't even know I could sign up for this <laughs> raffle. Yeah, it's like fucking stupid. Another thing I hate. Another pet dude. Peeve. You guys should do a dollar raffle, a dollar for a raffle ticket, and like pick like two winners, and they give a line like skip. Cover? They get, yeah, they give a line skip. This is like a side yeah, business so for him. For him to make some money. Well, no, not anymore, because we set it on this thing. So, <laughs> so now, now we get like, like commission yeah. off this idea. Well, I guess you came up with it technically. Um, yeah, I want fifty percent. We could just rig it at that point. Like you just put your name in it, nobody knows, and we just won't air this section. We'll cut it out. <laughs> there you go. And then you and Tim will just win every single week. <laughs> 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 we'll just with the money. <laughs> How does that guy with the long hair always win? How he does he always like, win? He buys like twenty raffles. It's <laughs> He's <wild>. Jesus, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. I will say though, the biggest pet peeve I get is on Saturdays. And people are like, what are the cover? What's the cover? And I'm like, it's eight for guys, free for girls. And he's like, well, what if I identify as a female? And I'm like, dude, fuck you. I've heard like five <laughs> times before you. Like, you're a dickhead. Go inside and pay. I'm going to start saying that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, because, dude, like. That's kind of clever on the spot like for that, them. But you're like, hearing it six yeah, other times. What does it say on your, you dri- you your driver's license? Huh? What does yeah, it say on exactly. your driver's well, license? Yeah. And, like, you hear the cringy thing of, like, last night, this is what I heard. It was like, the cover's like five bucks. And the guy's like. Would it be four if you thought I was cute? And I'm like, not to me. It's like the door girl. And I'm like, oh, that fucking sucks. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, that's And all weird. I hear her go is, no, it's five. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like. Nah, it's still the same. Right. So. I just, I don't think to say things like that. It's actually 10 oh. now. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. 10 now. So yeah, I just want to get in. Like yeah, yeah. Fucking, like here, yeah, here's you got to be nice. Not well, creepy. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's pretty uh, like, straightforward. I, fucking i've been there for like over a year now uh, and like the most recent experience i've had at a different bar that was like this i was in johnny cause in westport and like i don't know i fucking hate it like if i was you guys 
I don't know. Like, I just couldn't go out as much as I see some people do. Like, I don't know. Like, after working at one, it just changes everything. It's like working in the restaurant industry and going out in the west restaurant industry. I don't know. Yeah, true. Like, yeah. when I was, like, some dude, like, put the band on, put it sideways, got on my skin. I'm like, come on, you asshole. Like, it's not this fucking hard. I got <laughs> arm hair. It's not this fucking Other hard. fucking people, like, I dude, I pride myself on how I put bands on. I <laughs> put some nice bands on. Like, I've heard people say. Dude, I've heard. This I've heard. is the best band. I've ever it's had. not too tight not too loose yeah and it's literally it's like, like i literally like there. guide it like i go and i put right here and i put my hands all right the here sticky and stuff's on the other band so it's not it's pulling out your arm hair yeah and like you go that to is huge people, that actually is like a you big go to deal some people and it's like because you gotta tuck cooking. it underneath and shit like that and like it's yeah, yeah and if i fuck up i'm like dude i'm sorry do you want a different one but like i go to like johnny cause this dude fucks my shit up i'm like dude, this is fucking shitty and they're like it's five bucks i'm like okay and i use hand in my car he's like only cash i'm like you bitch like i don't I don't know. I like, go to other places. I get fucking mad. Like I don't. I go to bars. Like, and I'm like getting waited on. Uh -huh. Fucking sucks, dude. I've never had to do that. Like, usually, yeah, it's like, a good I'm point. The first people like if I'm walking up, they can see me from a distance. Like, they'll be like, and they'll just like fucking toss me a beer. There it's you like go. they yeah. know. Like they know what's up. Like I don't have to like. Most of the time, I'm not even ordering shots. They're forcing me to take. That's them cool off. having the like, in. It's cool, but like it sucks because it's like such a luxury. You go to a different bar, it's like. Oh, I don't have this anymore. This sucks. You gotta pay for drinks. It's like, yeah, well, it's yeah. Like you, like you, you know what I mean? Like, you take care of the bartenders and like that. So it's not like I'm getting away scotch free or anything like that. But, like, I go to, I go to, like, Johnny Cause, for instance, and I'm just like, oh, shot of this, this, this. And like, all right, that'll be $20. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, like God you know damn. what I mean? So, because I think I spent, because when I went to Johnny Cause, I went with Sabrina and some of her friends, because Judge was out of town, or we would have went with them too. And it was like her friend's birthday. Mm -hmm. It was like a roommate here. It was like a 22nd birthday. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll just give everybody shots. Like, whatever. Um, and I actually have a question for you guys. I have to bring this up after this. Okay. Let me piss you guys off there. I brought it up. But I uh, got shots. I was like, maybe like five shots and like a like a beer and like a long arm for her. And she's like, all right, $40. And I'm like, fuck this. No way. This fucking sucks. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. But it was cool because of this happened. All right. So I'm going to put you guys in my situation, and I'm kind of running out of time, to be honest. So uh -huh. this might be the last. family's cool and everything like that but her dad like at the end of the dinner like we were talking about going out like it was this friday this is the friday before johnny calls we were just gonna go out like me and her and like go to the bar judges the bar back at in downtown lee summit and which we did and like he just pulls out 40 bucks i guess it was 80 bucks and handed her 40 bucks and me 40 bucks he's like you guys have fun like just to go out and i'm like in my head i'm like no you know what i mean like I can't take this. I put it back. And like Sabrina's like, dad, he's not going to take your money. And like, he's like, no, he's going to like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like the dad that's like insistent on it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, I just want to know, like, like I had to take it. And obviously I just spent it all on his daughter the weekend. I was just like, uh -huh. I just got her drinks. I paid for like everything that she needed and everything like that. But like, how, how would you guys handle that? You know what I mean? Like, I need to know, like, what's your opinion on that? I respect you handing it back, but I honestly, I feel like I would like just take it to. off the... I mean, you it's know, it's, like you it's always uncomfortable, but, like, you're never going to win that. Yeah, true. It's like a battle you're never going to well, win. Well, it's like... It's like like with you could try family, to give it back like to him. family. Like, I struggled with that. Yeah, you like, try to give it back to him, but, like, they're going to make you take it. So because, like, whenever we first went to Orange County, like, his dad gave me, like, 20 bucks just to go spend, and, like, get his shirt or something like that, or like, get some food. And, like, I, str I was like, no, like, no, I'm good. He's like, no, seriously, just take it. And, like, I, it's just weird to me, you know? As long as you don't, like, expect it, like, you're not in, like, an, you, f you don't feel, like, entitled to that. Dude, I, I feel like there's no. I that at all. That was the biggest curveball I've ever <laughs> had, like, with the relationship. Literally, like, uh -huh. dude, like I've, I've met, like, okay, I've had, like, before her, I guess, one like serious relationship and then like i had a girlfriend in middle school like where i met the parents and like their parents never did anything like that for me mm -hmm. i had a girlfriend for four years in high school and like her parents never did anything like that for me and i met sabrina's parents one time maybe and maybe that's his way of, what happened. that's his way of making a good first impression well, and also kind of like i turned to her and i was like your dad's paying me to date you 
<laughs> I, was like, I was like, your dad's paying me to date you. And like I, I bet she liked that one a lot. She just like she shrugged it off. She's like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. So That's um, all funny. It's just weird to me. I just struggled with that, so I know what you guys thought about it. Yeah, I feel like I would I feel like I would take it and I don't know, I just have I'd have some respect for him giving me that. But I wouldn't uh, I'd be very appreciative of it, but I yeah. wouldn't I don't know, because like Gunner said, like I feel like that's if you try giving it back, he's always gonna no, be he was very, very persistent. persistent. I mean, you met him, like, yeah. You know what I mean, like that he's guy. Cool as fuck. Yeah, I'm so, so like, blacked he... out. No, I... <laughs> how's that buggy? He was he was out of boogie then. Yeah, dude. no way. Family like, he, weekend. He no went way. out. Or like, say my both Sabrina's were parents were out. Oh, really? Justice's parents were out. Shane's parents were out. My parents were out. It was a big um, parents weekend. Beerman's a, dad, yeah. brother, and his no, brother's that, front. I think. No, yeah. His I'm pretty sure his dad was at boogie. No, nope, that night. was that was a family weekend. That was a family uh, weekend. But he didn't was go. his brother and his brother's friend there though? Yeah. Okay. So like everybody had. Like a family member there, pretty much. So it was, uh-huh. like, it was fucking old. hilarious. Yeah, That's pretty cool. Wild. If you it's have never drank like with like, olds at Boogie. I'll say if you've never drank with Gunner's dad, next time he goes out, you need to go out and drink with this Dude, man. Don't, don't. I've always heard that. Don't let him headbutt you. It's wild. Man. Wait, what do you mean? Like he'll headbutt he'll you? He'll try chest? to headbutt you in the yeah, chest. It's out of no, respect. in the head. No, it's out of respect. Yeah. He thinks it's fun. I, I don't How hard? Hard. Hard, man. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, dude. And he always says, like, I was, like, giving him shit for it. And he was, like, they asked me to. I was, like, no one fucking asked you to do it. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> like, not a single of, person dude, has asked but, you that fucking question. Sabrina. And he had butted <laughs> Sabrina's dad. No way. Yeah, and Sabrina yeah, he was, was, like. He was out of control it was that like Sunday. Saturday. It was, like, it was Sunday bad. the next morning. It's, like, a thing he does when he's drunk or? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, all the time. I was like, he did it to me the first time on his birthday. Yeah, that caught me off guard. I was like, they used head to do, uh, yeah, like, he's, I mean, they used to do it in the army all the time. Like, they used to headbutt each other. I don't know why. It's fucking it's weird. But they probably had helmets Brain on. Brain damage. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Probably not, dude. He hits pretty hard and does not affect him at all. Wow. Yeah, dude. It fucking but shit like, hurts. So, like, it's it a nice was, grip on the back of your head. And just, yeah, it's like oh, he grabs you. It's like yeah, double. just like, like, come here. Like, oh, wow. It's like that, yeah. It's all with love, but like, it hurts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound fun at all. Uh, like, what was it? Oh yeah, Sabrina. Like that Sunday, she was like, she she hung out with me after her parents left, and she was like, yeah, my dad like at breakfast today was like, I'm pretty sure, Mr. Sirota or Gunner's dad headbutted me last <laughs> night, and I'm like, probably like. You headbutts a lot of people. Which is it's I'm bad. happy he didn't headbutt my mom. He didn't headbutt my stepdad. He tried my to headbutt. Was, I remember him trying to headbutt me, and I just like palmed his forehead, and I was like, get the someone, fuck out of here, no, that's like. What someone said, yeah. Shit hurts. I did meet your dad one time whenever I went to go watch you play lacrosse. Oh, yeah. He's loud. He's loud. Yeah. He's always cheering on the lacrosse team. Yeah. He does a lot for you. I don't know what I would do if somebody just came at me and, like, headbutted me. I, I, I'd probably be so unexpected that I'd just take it. I'm used to it. Like, I just kind of, yeah, like, accept it. Weird. Let's say if you accept it once, it's, like, Almost your rite of passage for the night. He'll do it again <laughs> if you give him the chance, but just do it once. You know what I mean? Just slip it. Just, yeah, not just, just you're like, ah. swat his just hand. Just be like, well, we already did yeah. it. Fuck out of here. Usually I just say I've already did it. Usually I get one in the beginning of the night and then one right when he leaves. Okay. The one at the beginning of the night is not as hard as the one when he leaves. Obviously. Okay, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Blacked out by that point. I would say at that point, yeah. Definitely Realize if out. he's going to hit you in the head at the end of the night, it's like taking another shot. Like a literally like a shot. Like oh wow! Fucks you up a little bit. Okay, wow. So, shakes you up. Yeah. Shakes you up. It like kind of like ice a little bit more. You know what I mean? So it's wild. You trying to wrap this up? You, yeah, you gotta so get to work. I gotta go to work. Cool. You guys want to? I, I like to make Instagram stories for this. You guys want to be in one? Dude, I mean, yeah, whatever. Sure. Whatever you want, man. What should we say? I don't know. I have no idea. You want to do a video? or You want to do a picture? Video. Could, yeah, I, I prefer video. Yeah, I don't know. Shit, man. Whatever. Hey, what's up? Finishing up a podcast. You guys are what's just. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? There you what's go. <laughs> cool. Man. Yeah, I was not prepared for <laughs> you that. You were not prepared at all. Do you want to do another? Or are you no, cool? I'm good, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, awesome. This, is, uh, this has been fun. This is a good time. This has been this fun. fun. Yeah, did you guys enjoy it? I was like to I ask, did. like, no, was, was it more fun than you expected? Or yeah, no, this was yeah, fun. I'd cool. Say at the beginning it was kind of weird, but like towards the end, obviously it picked up. We uh-huh. Figured out the whole gist of it. Can you hear your own voice? Sounds kind of weird. I honestly never got to that point where I heard myself. Oh really? Oh, get yeah. get closer to the mic. You'll hear it. Right up in here. 
I don't really still. I can't stand you. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it? All right, cool, cool.